My name is Davina Lüchtefeld, and I will be narrating this presentation. My father, who you can see on the bottom right, is Eugen Lüchtefeld. He is an Ayurveda doctor, alternative practitioner, and head of the Ayurveda Health Center in Mönninghausen. It is one of his greatest endeavors to teach ancient Vedic knowledge in the West. Additionally, he passionately spreads the word about the positive impacts of cancer. I'm the owner of this beautiful Ayurveda treatment building, which we opened in 2005. It was traditionally built according to the rules of the Stapatya Veda, also called Vastuvitya. Every day, our team and guests enjoy the positive impact of the Brahmastan, the heart of the house. I work with a German colleague and two Ayurveda doctors from Kerala, India. Boil the water for 10 minutes and then drink it. These are the general instructions if you are doing our pre-treatment at home. At our clinic, we no longer need to boil the water, as we use equipment that removes the hydrogen ions from the water six times more effectively. How does this work? Doesn't water consist of hydrogen ions? No, water consists of H2O, molecules that each consist of one oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms. All atoms usually have an equal amount of electrons and protons. If a hydrogen atom leaves the water molecule, it becomes a hydrogen ion, as an ion always has either more or fewer electrons than protons. Since the hydrogen atom has only one proton, while the oxygen atom has eight, the latter is more attracted to the electrons, so the oxygen releases the hydrogen atom without an electron. This would make it a hydrogen ion, a proton without a single electron. That is why the hydrogen ion is also called a proton. Protons make the water acidic and prevent the, prevent the water from entering the cells. Therefore, the oxygen releases the hydrogen atom without its electron. Due to the size and attraction of the oxygen atom, the electron must remain with the rest of the water molecule, which now makes the compound of oxygen and hydrogen atom leave behind a molecule that now has an electric charge, which can be given to other molecules that lack electrons. In chemistry, this is always recognized when a plus or minus is written behind the abbreviations commonly used in chemistry. Therefore, the oxygen releases the hydrogen atom without its electron. Due to the size and attraction of the oxygen atom, the electron must remain with the rest of the water molecule, which now makes the compound of oxygen and hydrogen atom leave behind a molecule that now has an electric charge which can be given to other molecules that lack electrons. In chemistry, this is indicated when a plus or minus is placed behind the abbreviations commonly used in chemistry. However, the minus sign always indicates that there are more electrons than protons. And the plus sign indicates that the molecule is missing electrons. In case of the hydrogen atom, which only has one electron, it is no longer a molecule or an atom. Because it only has one electron and one proton, the now positively charged atom is nothing other than a pure proton. This is indicated when a plus or minus is placed behind the abbreviations commonly used in chemistry. This makes us old and sick, since reduced electrical cell voltage equals degeneration. If there is no electrical charge at all, no electrical impulses will be found in the EEG and ECG, and therefore the patient's death will be declared. However, we have only known how crucial this electrical charge is for our life and environment since the discovery of aquaporins. Until then, we simply boiled the water for 10 minutes and felt the positive effect after drinking it. Since 2003, we have been able to explain why, based on the latest scientific findings. The decisive factor was the discovery of aquaporins and the fact that they have a proton barrier 
that only lets the water into the cells when it has fewer p protons and is not longer overly acidic. What happens to Vedic, boiled water, now that I use Kangen water? Vedic water does not become antioxidative, but it is around 150 millivolts more charged compared to tap and wall water. Thus, it contains comparatively more electrons and less protons. Our Kangen devices, however, are now able to extract protons from the water six times more effectively and also produce water for disinfection through a separate hose. Five variations of water. We owe this insight to two American doctors. They discovered that every cell has many proton barriers. These barriers are located in the aquaporins, water pores, also discovered by them, of which every cell has several thousand. They received the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for their achievements in 2003. Today, every student of the natural sciences needs to know about these connections, whereas the process of diffusion was a common idea in the 20th century. However, it did not explain many natural processes. A common chemistry examination question for students is why the idea of diffusion was incorrect. If the aquaporins contain pro proton barriers, and if we want to be in good health, it is our most important task to free our drinks as effectively as possible from protons or hydrogen ions. But how can you tell whether there are many electrons in the water or not? We can measure the electrical voltage in the water with a millivolt meter. If the device indicates higher positive values, you know that the protons outweigh the electrons, and if higher negative values are indicated, the opposite is the case. Ayurveda has always been on the right track. After boiling the water for 10 minutes, I can see that the usual proton axis of around plus 300 millivolt in the drinking water decreases by 50%. Looking back on our first experiences with Ayurveda, we know how good the change to this water has been. Here you can see the entire scale of the least oxidative and most oxidative liquids. Reverse osmosis of water and soda are the most oxidative, whereas Kangen water is the least oxidative. Our Kangen device takes it a step further and not only eliminates the excess of protons, but also increases the electron voltage quite significantly to minus 600 millivolt. This brings the pH value up to 9.5. The pH value reflects the number of molecules charged with electrons, the so-called hydroxides, as this diagram shows. The question is whether this is not unnatural, why do we never find such values in our drinking and well water? Answer, it is natural. In photosynthesis, the oxidative proton-heavy water that the plants absorb with the power of the sun gets exactly the same electron surplus that we then enjoy as antioxidative juice. Every good vitamin and enzyme has an electron surplus. Today, this process is implemented in Kangen devices, which especially city dwellers appreciate, who cannot regularly get their hands on freshly harvested fruit and vegetable juices. The improved cell tension not only ensures optimal blood flow, but also restores the old elasticity of the cartilage. All degenerative diseases are associated with decreasing cell tension. That is why decades ago, Enagic received the highest awards from the Geriatric Society in Japan. Our Kangen water device takes it another step further. The higher the number of OH- molecules, the higher the pH value. In addition, water acquires strong antioxidative properties. When the various antioxidants such as vitamins and enzymes have been in use and have lost their electrical charge, it is given back to them so that they can become active again. In 2.5 pH water, you can smell the chlorine. 
Nevertheless, the ORP value is still above 1100 millivolt. An ORP in the plus range still indicates a massive lack of electrons. All viruses, bacteria and fungi that come into contact with this water lose their electrical charge in no time and are usually no longer viable. This makes the water an excellent cleaning and disinfectant agent. That is why we call it the power of 2.5. The amount of electrons that remain on the right side of the diagram with the hydroxides can then be very well passed on primarily to calcium, potassium, sodium and magnesium. The positive charge of the minerals, excess of protons, means that they can only pass the barriers in the aquaporins with difficulty. However, since regular drinking and bottled water also has a lot of excess protons, this does not have an effect. However, if the, if the minerals named above combine with the hydroxides, which, as we know, have more electrons than protons, they become bioavailable. The increasing bone stability of many Kangen water drinkers confirms this. In the diagram shown here, the water molecule is separated from one of its hydrogen protons by the extremely high voltage in the ionization <laughs> chamber. Since it has lost its electrical charge in the process, it is positively charged. It is attracted by the negatively charged electrode. Left the picture. As the water flows over the platinum-coated titanium electrode, which does not pass on electrons, the H plus ion combines with the chlorine, phosphorus, nitrate and nitrite, all of which can pass on electrons. Aquaporins are channel proteins that form pores in the membrane of biological cells, mainly facilitating transport of water between cells. Source Wikipedia. Question. Why don't we have the water run through our house's water pipes? Answer. Because alkaline water attracts an infinite number of bacteria and fungi. Pond owners know a thing or two about it. Installing the devices in every household can be costly. Also, every ionization process involves the flow of electricity, which is only possible using metal. This means that there is also the danger of heavy metal contamination. The metal that resists oxidation is platinum, whereas oxidation occurs frequent, frequently with iron. Platinum is very expensive and conducts electricity poorly. Therefore, titanium coated with platinum is used for conducting electricity. This is common practice today. Other device manufacturers try to lower the price of their machines by using wire mesh constructions that contain titanium and platinum. Both metals are contained, but since there are considerable temperature fluctuations in the devices, thin and fine circuit boards can quickly break. In this case, the titanium comes into contact with the water and the heavy metals in the water can cause very serious health problems. The company Anagic, manufacturer of the Kangen water devices, is not only proud of the solid titanium plates, which are then also evenly coated with platinum, but it is also the only company that is authorized to equip medical facilities, such as hospitals and operation rooms, with the devices due to this extreme safe feature, among other things. The company has been awarded the ISO 13485 certificate if you are buying a water ionizer for yourself and others, you are on the safe side with companies that have been awarded this certificate. Therefore, we are pleased to be able to provide you with this water during your treatment, free of charge. When it comes out of the device, it is cold. Do not boil it, as its antioxidative quality will decline when boiling it. Let us see how this type of water affects human blood. The doctor is drawing blood from a patient's finger. Using a special microscope, we shall be able to see the condition of her body from this drop.
These are red blood cells, and they've lost their electrical charge, so they're all stuck together in a formation called a rouleau. Here's a huge symplast. Symplasts are associated with heart disease and uh, arthritis and lung disease and many other conditions that could be coming in the future. The doctor asks the patient to drink a small amount of structured water. After 12 minutes, the doctor again draws blood from the patient and studies it. So you can see that the cells then become buoyant, they become slippery, and they have their electrical charge, so they repel each other. That allows them to carry oxygen, and it means that we're changing the pH of the blood back to an aerobic environment rather than an anaerobic environment. I think that's utterly amazing. That, that a water could, that just drinking water could do that. If we recognize the importance of restoring the electrical charge in our cells, we begin to understand why it is harmful. If we recognize the importance of restoring the electrical charge in our cells, we begin to understand why it is harmful to drink water that contains too many hydrogen ions or protons. The devices can be used to obtain and use the proton containing water in many areas of life. To learn more about the way the different waters can be used, please refer to our websites.